Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Umbreon Valley. Um, this is by Gamer Designs, 128.35 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 3.8 out of 5 stars with 35 people having rated it. Make sure if you do like the maps, you go ahead and support um, the map makers by rating it 5 out of 5 stars in the mod hub. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'll read the description here and then we will go ahead and take a look at it. So Umbreon Valley, welcome to Umbreon Valley. This is a forestry map based in a fictional world. Uh, you can sell all of your products in the same place. There is sawmill production, floating logs, 20 collectibles to collect, and you can even make a few fields to farm on. I hope you enjoy this map. Um, so yeah, now as far as, um, let's, let's just hop in the menu here. So taking a look here at what we start off with, um, you can buy, it looks like most of the land around the map, and you start off with kind of this peripheral area, excuse me, peripheral area, as well as this guy right here, this little chunk of land. It's a lot of little different areas to purchase. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. It looks like you actually have a field over here if you wanted to use it. Yep, looks like there's a field right over there, which is kind of cool to have that on there. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Typically with my forestry maps, I'll do just a flyover, which is probably what we're gonna do today as well. Um, I think the sell all is what takes, if there's anything else on here, we'll take a look. Okay, there's a couple things. Sell all, wood sell, wood sell, wood sell, wood sell. For wood, it looks like. But other than that, the sell all is gonna take most of your products, it looks like. So there's a couple things that had a couple things on there. Yeah, so carpentry, yeah. So, but anyhow, your sell all is kind of what you got. So we're not gonna slowly scroll through all those because there's no need to. Um, but yeah, so what do we got on here? Up here, we're up at the store and we got the wood sell. We also have an animal dealer there, field there, carpentry, sell all, wood chips. Is there sell all, the wood sell, there's the sell all right there, okay. Um, chip sell point, gas station, uh, wood cell, sawmill, you can probably sell your wood there as well. Uh, chip cell point, wood cell, and wood cell. So lots of different wood cell points on here, which makes sense, it's a forestry map. Uh, but yeah, what was that? What is this up here? Is that not, almost looked like uh, something or other. There's weeds up there. Might be a field, we'll take a look at it when we fly over it. So anyhow, let's get uh, back over here just to the main area. So yeah, we're gonna take a look. Um, around the map here in a second. Let's take a look at what we start off with equipment wise. We have a Mack Superliner 6x4 truck, a couple pieces of forestry equipment from Rotney, and we have forestry trailer, which all of our stuff is, well, there's our two pieces of equipment. And then here's our truck and trailer here. Um, we have one of the wood cell points right here for us. And then if we look around here, we have, does this open up? No, it does not, okay. We're gonna check that. Repair cell point here, shop trigger here. Um, and that's what we got going on right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and we're just going to do a flyover because I think that'll be more efficient. And it's kind of hard a lot of times on forestry maps because of the trees to see where you're at um, in the woods there. But uh, yeah, cool looking map. We'll take a look around. A lot of good terrain on it. So you're definitely going to be struggling as far as some of that goes. There's some flat areas, so um, it may not be the best to build a farm on if that's what you're trying to do. But you can definitely do that if you wanted to accomplish that. So. Um, yeah, where is that? That's over there. We'll head up this way first. I'm just super curious about that that area over there. So yeah, I can see the road kind of goes along there. You got some nice detail down there as far as different things go. I like the roadway. The roadway actually looks very nice. It's like kind of an American roadway there, but it looks very nice. I like that. Lots of water features on here, which you guys know I like water features. This looks pretty cool down here, actually. Yeah, I like that. That's going through there pretty nice. Ah, yes. Kind of like a swamp area here. That's what this all is. Thought it'd be like up on a mountain or something. But yeah, it's kind of a swamp area. Looks like there's grass there. So, and apparently weeds as well. But yeah, that kind of goes out to the edge of the map. The edge isn't great. As you can see, I mean, if you were down on the bottom of the map, that looks a little better here. But I mean, that's still quite an abrupt edge to the map. It doesn't quite look that great. But anyhow. We move along here a little bit more. Got some more stuff going on. Um, there's our little, a strange little field area here. And I like even like some of the stuff that they do do with the um, the roads here. Like, look at this. Yeah, just going over that, that area right there. Just look very nice, I like that. I'm getting, getting some very severe lag there for a second. And like, I like this as well, what they're doing here with the road. It looks fantastic, but anyhow. Get back up over here again. We got our field point here, or a field here. Oop, did I hit? It's like an invisible collision, and I'm now 
stuck in the ear. Let me see if I can get out of... Oh, everything has been officially crashed, so I will bring you guys back in because I'm not doing any of this. Um, I'll bring you guys back in in one second. Okay, here we are in a new game save that's not crashed, apparently. So here we go. <laughs> Good, I have no idea what caused that or if it was a mod I had installed or anything like that. I don't run very many mods when I do my map tours, but uh, just something to be careful of. Make sure you guys have it on auto save potentially. Uh, but yeah, here we go down here. We have our um, carpentry cell point. And we have the cell all and the chip cell point. So cell all is right here and then chip cell point is right here. Um, the town looks like it could use maybe a little bit more details. It just seems kind of odd that the road would just run into nothing. But other than that, looks pretty good. Like it. Got a couple things going on through here. Um, nice little fire station here. Like that. It's kind of nice to have that on the map. Um, my mouse is acting up now. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Everything's just going wrong today. It's fantastic. Uh, fuel, fuel point down here. Uh, so we got that right there. Uh, we will we'll fly over to here, and then we'll head our, we'll cut across here, taking a look at some of the details through here. Head up over to here, and then we'll probably just head to the center because I want to see what that is as well. I think that'll that'll be what we'll end up doing. Some floating logs down here, and we got uh, a boat. This would be a good place for a collectible. They did say there was some on the map, so eventually somewhere. But this is one of the uh, cell points for logs here. So cool to have that logs floating around there. I like that. <laughs> That's kind of cool to see that. I like this little valley too. I think that's pretty sweet. Now it does look like it's supposed to have... The map it shows that it would have water back here, but I don't see any water back here. Anyhow, continue on. I like, that. I like that mountain road that goes up there. That's pretty sweet. I like that. This would be a cool map to play on for sure. Um, and again, we have another... Cell point down here for logs and whatnot, sawmill. Continue down the river. This guy over the, I like that. Just details like that are kind of nice, especially on a forestry map. The water looks great, and then this comes out. It would kind of make sense for this to run out to the sea, but. Um, but yeah, look at this down here. We got our log cell points. We got the, the uh, you can fill the boats up with logs, which is pretty sweet. That's so cool. I like that. This would be great for that. Here we go. Look at that. That looks fantastic coming out of there. I like that. That looks great. And here, what do we got? A little house of some kind down here. Yeah. Pretty cool different stuff in there. Sorry, my screen is a little laggy. Ooh, what's that up here? Oh, just a, uh, is there a tunnel in there? <laughs> I like that. That's fantastic. That's cool. Cool details on there. Um, let's head towards the center, because I did want to see what that little section was. Where is it at? Right over towards this little lake. Oh, that, that guy right there. Oh, look at that. Very cool. A couple, you can take a little boat ride out here on the, on the lake or the stream or whatever. Um, very cool. Let's get down to, or don't, I didn't want that. Well, I'll need that in a bit, but we can put that back on. Get out of flight mode here. Yeah, very cool. I would think there'd be a collectible somewhere around here. I don't know if there's anything cool about the collectibles as far as if there's anything uh, like a different shape or anything, but I don't see one right off the bat. But this would be a good place to have one, potentially. Anyhow, guys, that's what I got for you guys. That is the map. Got a lot of really cool details on it, so well done, uh, Gamer Designs. Very cool. Uh, but anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.